great news for Iraq today. The genetically modified crop, an exciting innovation, is being introduced across the country. That's right, Nancy. Paul Burmer's Order 81, the patent, industrial design, undisclosed information, integrated circuit, and plant variety law is making its debut in Iraq. Now, Iraqi farmers will follow in the footsteps of their farming friends, Canada, the U.S., and Argentina, in giving genetically modified crops a warm welcome. These new crops will not need to be tested for health impacts, an American official stated, because no one else has tested them, so why should Iraq? The new technology will have Iraqi farmers working on behalf of Monsanto to help feed the world. As in Canada and the U.S., private investigators are helping make sure that the Iraqi farmer uses the new technology correctly. Farmers who use the seeds without permission will face stiff penalties under Order 81. For example, if wind, insects, or birds carry the seeds to the farmer's land, both the farmer and the guilty bird will face some heavy fines, land confiscations, and be ordered to hang the Go Monsanto banner from their upstairs window. But Iraq is not the only beneficiary of the genetically modified crop bonanza. The Bill Gates Foundation has hired Monsanto Vice President Robert Horsch as Senior Program Officer to help with the African food crisis because Africans do not know how to farm their own land. Monsanto and Bill Gates were forced by goodwill to help this clueless continent. GM crops look like a step in the right direction for humanity. Well, I think so, Nancy. Did you know Monsanto even tried to patent a breeding technique for pigs? That's a company making innovative progress, Dick. And every pig born from that technique would belong to Monsanto. Gosh, I hope they didn't patent positions in the Karma Sutra. <laughs> well, Nancy, if they patented the wheelbarrow, they may own my kids. 